Good morning, everyone. Liani. Good morning. So the video is, have we become a de desensitized nation? Um, I had a talk with the Lord because what I was experiencing, noticing, not just with myself, but with others, it was just like a thing. And I said, why are people so out of touch? Like, why are they so desensitize if someone is going through something they don't seem to care only about themselves he gave me the scripture that in the end times that people will be lovers of themselves and um, follow false teachings and all these things this was the conversation he showed me through scripture he was talking to me through scripture like just verse at the verse at the verse pertaining to what I was talking to him about and asking him and this is the times that we're in. Now, I'm a human being, so I'm not going to say it's the end times, although it may be. Uh, we look around and we see so many changes, so many things, and we're like, what's happened to people? What's happened to their uh, well-being, their awareness of things? Even when you converse with people in a uh, conversation, it's like they are not connected to what you're saying they talk about other stuff or themselves and it's it's just a thing and I'm like what is going on on the earth so I asked him and that's when he pointed me to the scriptures and I was like oh you know now that makes sense because yeah this is what's happening all of this is true the bible is true his god's word is true these things are happening and um it appears that it's more than just us being a, well, people being a desensitized nation. It's also fulfilling all the law of like what was prophesied, what was says, said in the Bible to come. People are being lovers of themselves. You can see someone in distress. People want to film it or they don't want to get involved. It's not my problem. Everybody's so concerned about self, self, self. Then there's people, like you said, in the Bible that, um, uh, have on the appearance of holiness, but deny the power thereof. They don't have the power, but they're walking around like they're righteous and holy and they're not. They're using things and saying, oh, God told me to do this or God said this. And it's not even him. They're doing selfish things, but attaching God's name to it. And God says, don't swear by his name. Don't add to his word nor take away from it. Let your yes be yes and your no be no, which means say what you mean. Don't try to use him as a a clutch to hide or or get or your selfish ambition of what you want to do and then attach his name for the reason you do stuff you do or the reason you don't do what you're supposed to do and then want to use him as the reason why you're not doing it because God is not a liar and he's not to be mocked either and people should be careful with doing that kind of stuff because it will come back to him but many are deceived they really think in their minds they're doing the will of God when it's their selfish uh voices or ambition or things that they want to do the enemy is leading them to do stuff and they're just like but god said to do this he didn't say to do that god is not a liar it states his character who he is and he does not change he is the same yesterday today and forevermore that is who he is he is everlasting he doesn't change so the way we go about stuff our selfish ways our fleshly ways that is us and none of him don't attach him to that but for the people who um, or in the world, like you talking, have a conversation, or you could be in need of encouragement or, you know, something people are just like, yeah, cause I go through this too. Cause I do this too. They instantly turn it back to themselves. If you notice, they will go on and on and on a laundry list of themselves, them things. They use your, whatever you're going through your pain. It could be grief. It could be sadness. It could be loneliness. They use that as an opportunity to talk about what they're going through instead of offering advice and wise advice to help you out and to encourage and uplift you as the Lord says to think of others higher than ourselves but people some people are not willing to do that they are desensitized they want to talk about what somebody else is going through or what they're going through but they don't focus on you when you're coming but when you they need you they will call on you they will ask you they will require so much from you to help them but when it's uh, flipped or well, what's the word reciprocate it's not reciprocated thank you lord it's not reciprocated it doesn't go back it's not an even balance it's not people are desensitized but it's already written in the bible it says that they will be lovers of themselves they will scoff at people that do things that are in the will of god this is the times that we're in so when you see these things 
you know, don't be discouraged because it's already written. Just like the things that happened when Jesus was around on the earth, there were so many things that were not right. They were not fair, but it had to be fulfilled. And so thank you, Lord Jesus, for what you did on the cross for us. Thank you, God, for sending your son. Hallelujah. Um, I thank you for the Holy, Holy Spirit that was left here and descends upon us like a dove. Thank you for the peace and only the Lord our God can give and that this world cannot. Keep your peace. Keep your faith. Things will get rough. You will go through times, but don't judge your brothers or sisters because they are having hard times or difficulties. It could be emotional. It could be financial. It could be mental. You know, let's those of us who worship him in the spirit and in the truth, we know what that means. We do what it already is, doesn't need to be said. Um, do you need to say anything, husband? Um, yeah. Um, and a, and a, well, time, yeah, times are, in fact, changing, and they're, they're changing pretty fast than normal. Um, so I just, I just want to say for the, for the people, you, you know, just stay encouraged, be kind, and try to try to live as peaceful lives as possible. And that's all I got to say. Okay. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. And we hope you all have a wonderful, fruitful day. This is Liani. Good morning. Have a blessed day. God bless.